But I can tell you being as old as I am, and for some of you young people, you guys listen to me for sure, man. You don't have to do some of the things that I did. You probably will do some of them because we're all human. But at least when you do them, you'll remember that this preacher told you, hey, there's an answer. You can, you can get up and get back on the horse quickly. Don't let the enemy come in and browbeat you and condemn you and, you know, and make you feel overly judged and all those kind of things that people are like, they're, they're really touchy about today. Don't let him do that. You say, no, Jesus is my Jonathan. Jesus died for me. Uh, just a little picture that Pastor Rocky reminded me to remember what Jesus did for you. When it's tough, when you don't feel good about yourself, when you don't like what you see in the mirror, remember what Jesus did for you. Get another mirror. The Bible is a mirror. The Bible said the Bible is a mirror. And you look in here and it changes you. When you look in the mirror on the wall over here, you just see how you are. People today are touchy about that. They, they, they don't look in the mirror line. They don't want somebody else judging them. I'm like, you don't need somebody else to judge you. And you don't need to worry about if somebody else does judge you. Look in the mirror. Size yourself up. Take a good look. And say, hey, this is who I am. This is who I'm not. This is what I need to change. This is what God's saying to me. Hey, and then get in this mirror. Yeah. And say, God, now do it. God, do it. This is one verse like we read here today. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 could change your life. It could, it could have such a, a powerful reaction in your life. There are scriptures I know that I could just off the top of my head I can tell you. Acts 19 for example it comes up in a lot of sermons. You know why? It changed my life. I was reading Acts one day and I, I got into the 19th chapter and I suddenly something changed in my thinking. I started going, we could do that. Yeah. We should do that. Set me on a course to be like, man, this is what I want to see happen in my life. I want to see this happen in my life, in my lifetime, Lord. This is what I'm believing. God, I'm believing you that this kind of situation, Acts 19, is going to happen in my life. I want to see this, Lord, in my lifetime. I'm tired of all the religious church. I'm tired of all the other models and the mirrors that we tried to mirror from everything else. Most of it's the world. I'm tired of all that, Lord. I want you to be mirrored. Help me arrive to this kind of place, Lord, like the Apostle Paul did. Amen. I wonder if I can get some people here to believe with me. Yeah. Come on, Lord, send us in. Hey, lo and behold, here we are in a town that needs us. Yeah. We're here. One can put a thousand to flight, the Bible says, and two can put... 10,000 to flight. See, it's, it's an opposite, but not an equal reaction. When God's moving, it's an opposite reaction, but it's so much greater. That's why we should be praising God.